Hello, everyone. This is Phil, and I've got a really fun episode for you here today. I'm going to be having a conversation with a very good friend and colleague of mine, Kat Headley, who is an instructor at SANS and is going to be providing a series of six free workshops called The Secret Life of Devices that's built for newcomers to the digital forensics and incident response field or people who are looking to maybe brush up on some of those skills. They're completely and totally free, and we're going to spend some time talking with Kat about the background and the different uh, episodes that she has for that workshop series. But if you want to get all the details right now, check out this link right here. It is for572.com slash secret life. And that will take you to a post that she put together summarizing the entire series, each episode, and most importantly, get you the links that you need to register. But if you want to learn a little bit more about it directly from the source, just stay right here because we're going to be joined with Kat right now. Uh, I've worked with Kat for quite some time. Uh, she is an instructor with us uh, at SANS, and uh, she's also authored courseware before. And she's also brought some material that was from courseware into a series of six workshops. And these are workshops that are going to be available online for free. And I'm super pumped about them because they're really designed to cater toward people who are maybe a little bit earlier on in their career. So first of all, welcome, Kat. Glad to uh, chat with you here and have a chance to catch up on all the work that you've been doing. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on here. Yeah, sure thing. Um, can you give us a little bit of a background on these workshops, the free events that you're putting on, and really give the attendees an idea of what they're going to learn in each of these in the series? Yeah, sure. Um, so as you've said, they are completely free. They are intended to be for people who are brand new to the field. So absolutely no prerequisites whatsoever intended. And I've really tried to dig into just some of the real fundamentals of digital forensics and incident response. So the first one will be, we are starting out with how to interpret data. So data on a system is in binary, but what does that mean? How do we convert it to decimal or hexadecimal or even ASCII? So we'll walk through those. Everything will be fully hands-on and then there'll be extra challenges for everyone to do in their spare time afterwards. So hopefully a good mix of things and really, really starting at the, the beginning of what does data look like? The second one then is talking about files. So what are file extensions? Does that indicate a true files type? Because uh, disclaimer, uh, no. <laughs> no, it <laughs> so doesn't. We'll, yeah, exactly. So we'll dig into what that actually means and how to work out the, the true type of a file. And then we'll dig into files a little bit further and start to look at embedded metadata and what can be in all sorts of different types of file, which is really, really cool. We'll then move to data carving. So going a step further, how do you recover deleted files? So maybe the file is fully, uh, well, maybe the metadata is gone, maybe the data is gone. We'll talk about all of those different scenarios. And how do you recover the data if you have some of that metadata? And how do you recover the data if you don't? So lots of different mm -hmm. situations for getting to that deleted content. Yeah, there's, there's deleted and there's quote unquote deleted, right? Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll try and cover all of those different scenarios, what each of them mean, and then different tools to use to get some of that data back. Next up is timestamps. So how do you decode timestamps? What are some of the different timestamp formats? We'll talk about big Endian and little Endian because I get lots of students in my classes who haven't done that before. That's really more of a programming concept but we need to understand it when it comes to timestamps. So we'll look at that, we'll interpret the data, and then we'll look at a bunch of different timestamps and how to turn it into something readable rather than a whole bunch of, of hexadecimal or binary. The next one then is talking about uh, mounting images basically, and the kind of basics of actual kind of forensics. How do we, what do we do with an image? What is an image? How do we then get to the data? And what are some of the things that we can start to then do with the data once we've had a look inside that disk image? And last but not least, and I've saved it to last, is all about Base64. So we'll do a manual encode and decode, which I love doing because that kind of blows people's brains. Uh, but it, it's really cool to, to un again, understand it with everything in forensics, primary principles, how do you do these things manually so that you understand what your tools are doing? So that's that's what this workshop series is really all about, is understanding some of those those fundamental concepts. Those are really, really so critical. And I remember when I was starting in my career in forensics that those were some of the just mind blowing, eye opening concepts that were like, wow, look at all these layers beneath it. 
Um, And I love the name of the series too, The Secret Life of Devices, which I think is really fantastic because it, what we see as users is so far abstracted from the actual forensic artifacts. And as the seasoned practitioner knows, you've got to have at least some level of an understanding of those lower level artifacts in order to make sense of what your tools are telling you, which is really just so critical for everybody. Yeah, Um, absolutely. And I may watch too many animated films, which may be where that's come from. <laughs> oh, no, no, nonsense. Not at all. Got to make it fun. Absolutely. Now, you'd mentioned that these are for these are intended for people who are newer in their career, maybe people who are interested in the concept of forensics or cybersecurity, but they haven't done that before. Um, is there anybody else that you think would benefit from this kind of a, a focus area or this kind of a workshop series? Yeah, absolutely. So it's I say there's no prerequisites needed for it so literally anybody can can turn up and basically yeah anybody who's interested in forensics as a career anyone who's thinking about taking one of the sans for courses this is probably a really good thing to do as a precursor just to to do some of the basics that kind of aren't covered in those courses because we kind of assume when you get to those courses you know this stuff already anyone who's looking to reinforce the the fundamentals of forensics who may not have done this stuff in a while it's it's all lab based it's all practical so even if you've done this stuff before it's actually really cool just to do it again just to do some practical exercises some labs just to to reinforce it basically and cement that knowledge so basically anybody is is who this is aimed at well, that's great. And I, I know that you've done a lot of work with some of the uh, material that's intended for people earlier in their careers. And then being able to or reintroduce people who may have forgotten some of those fundamentals is great. Um, now, you mentioned that a lot of it is hands on, which I think is great because that really kind of fuses the brain kind of components to make people remember things better, in my experience. Uh, what's the format in terms of the, the what the attendees should expect? Um, do they need to bring a virtual machine kind of in a browser? Like what kind of hardware do they have to have just so that everybody's kind of prepared for that? Yeah, so for most of them, so all of them will be on our Rangers platform, the SANS Rangers platform, which is primarily used for, for CTFs and net wars and, and things like that. So it should be familiar to anyone who, who's used that before. But it's really, it's kind of a gaming platform. It's kind of gamified labs. So for most of them, you don't need anything. You just need a browser, access to the internet, and you can do all of it from there. Particularly for the initial workshops, I've tried to keep it all completely online, completely accessible, so you don't need anything to to play with these things. When we get further down the line and we're mounting disk images and, and doing those things, then you will need to have either a Windows or a Mac to be able to, to do those because we'll have a, a virtual machine to download, possibly more than one, um, still kind of ironing out the format of that one exactly but there will be things you will need to download and run at that point i will also be mentioning a few things as i go through on other tools that you might want to to use to do similar things and some of those other tools will be windows linux or mac so if you want to use some of those then it's a good idea to have have a laptop there but um yeah for for most of them a browser and an internet connection is is all you need Excellent. And then, for like you said, for some of those later uh, sequences, later uh, uh, episodes in the, the series, you'll state out what those requirements are going to be for somebody to take full advantage of it. But even if they don't have that, or at least at the time, they're able to follow through with the discussion portion, at least to brush up on the concepts, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you can follow along anyway, um, even if you don't have that. So uh, if you want to actually take part and do the things, then for the the mounting image one, then, yeah, I'd I'd recommend having probably a Windows laptop is the easiest. Um, But everything is designed so that you can just follow along on on, on a browser. All of the options should be there. Great. And then um, for people who might not be able to attend live, are these recorded? Can they come back to watch them again after the fact if they want? Yeah, absolutely. So all of the workshops are two hours long. So in those, I will walk through the initial sections. We'll do a full manual walkthrough of whatever it is I'm I'm talking about. We will use, do everything manually and then use a tool. So as as you will well know in DEFA, again, one of the founding principles, know how to do things manually before you then do it the easy way and use the tool. So we will walk through both of those as, as each topic. Then there will be some extra questions to go away and do if you get through them quickly or to do in your own time. So the two hour workshop itself will be recorded. So feel free to join live or watch the recording at a later date. The actual 
the labs, the actual um, workshop kind of uh, CTF, if we're calling it a CTF, uh, capture the flag, I should probably explain my acronyms, is going to be open then until the next workshop. So you will have just over a week to then run through the recording, do the lab in your own time if you want to, and to do those extra challenges. So there's lots to do. Um, and I should also say, which is exclusive at this point, because I haven't yet announced this, um, each workshop has a theme and those themes join together for a little bit of an Easter egg. And I am working out on a mini prize to hand out if students then attend either the summit in Utah in August or the DFA summit in Prague in uh, September, end of September. So hopefully I have something to give uh, to you if you come find me at one of those summits and I'll be at both of those to then uh, celebrate the fact that you got all of the answers and you found the extra, extra hidden answer that comes if you attend all of the workshops. Oh, that's fantastic. Always good to have a little bit of an extra extra treat in there. And uh, I'm super glad to hear that you're going to be at both those summits. I will be as well. So uh, awesome. for anybody who does go through the entire challenge and gets those coin, uh, gets those awards or the coins or whatever it's going to end up being, um, please do seek us out. We'll uh, definitely give you a high five for that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Come find us. Have chat. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add for uh, for folks who might be interested to uh, maybe push them over the uh, over the over the line to go ahead and register? It'll be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so I the, the themes I've already kind of given you a bit of a clue to the themes. I'm a bit obsessed with uh, animated movies, but um, yeah, I mean the, the whole thing is meant to be fun. So at the end of the day. If you think it may be above your head, uh, hopefully it isn't. If you join live, I would suggest if you're a little bit hesitant, join live because we can answer questions as, as we go through. I will be there to answer as many questions as come up. If we don't get through all of the questions live, then um, I'll answer them afterwards. So, yeah, we'll make sure that you fully understand the topics and you're up and up and running to, to finish off each of the workshops. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I say there's no... You don't need to have any tools, have any prerequisites, have any knowledge at the minute. It is meant to be, if you're interested, have a go and, and join in and see how you like oh, well, it. That's, that's fantastic. I'm so glad to hear that that uh, you've got this put together and, and really are focusing on people who are figuring out how to get into the industry or maybe how to shift their attention within the cybersecurity industry over to forensics and investigations. Um, I'm super excited for this. Um, so once again, all the details for this are at for572.com slash secret life, all one word, as you see down at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, go ahead and visit that. Take a look at the summaries of each of the sessions. The schedules are there. The registration information, it's all packaged up there. Um, thank you so much for your time, Kat. This has been really, really cool to uh, work with you on and, uh, and see this come to life. I know you put a ton of work into it and it's really shown. So uh, congratulations on a great, uh, great package here for these workshops. And I can't wait to hear the great results from everybody. Yeah, thank you. Me too. And I'll see everyone there. Everyone join up. Thanks very much, everybody. So once again, feel free to check that out. Uh, for572.com slash secret life has all of your details for registering for these six free workshops that will all be online starting June 21st. Very excited for that. Hope you can join. And I really hope to see some of you at the summits in Salt Lake City, Utah, as well as in Prague. Great chance for us to uh, meet in person and hopefully hand out some good treats. And most of all, that you're going to be able to learn a lot of these really, really important concepts. So hope to see you at the workshops. And thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.